Ari Makala, who's the founder and the CTO and CEO of MyElf, a an up and coming farm and emerging tech that's already been deployed. The product is running. And again, another one that Hill Lab has tested and, and really seen some exciting results on. And uh, with that, Ari, we'll hand over the virtual microphone to you. Thank you, Stan. <clears throat> a quick uh, walkthrough on um, uh, what I wanted to share with you about what we're working on. <clears throat> Essentially, we're trying to increase the collaboration and you know, a way to reducing costs in healthcare by leveraging distributed ledger technology and AI. Um, so as, you, as many of you know, um, uh, healthcare costs are a huge uh, challenge in the industry, um, especially you know, given the significant variation in medical prices as well as, you know, if you look at the administrative costs, you know, it's almost a fourth of uh, the overall healthcare spend each year. And <clears throat> according to a recent study by McKinsey, they've identified close to $265 billion as savings opportunity in this area alone. And here are some challenges that uh, the industry is facing. There is gap in alignment and collaboration between payers, providers, uh, throughout the end-to-end -end claims workflow, as many of you uh, experienced that today. Lack of transparency, um, inefficient claims tr payment tracking, and complexity of payer and provider contracts that's pro proliferating, right? So uh, from a solution perspective, what we do is we leverage distributed ledger technology and AI to bring uh, solutions. We have a very highly integrated platform and also we use uh, interoperability standards um, and bring the solutions to the marketplace. These are some of the um, products that we developed uh, with key focus around consumer engagement, simplification of uh, administrative um, uh, costs and um, uh, processes and lowering of healthcare spend. Our platform capabilities, a quick view, you know, as I mentioned about the integrations with several hospitals using, you know, different ele electronic health records, payer systems, you know, that we could be connecting through EDI or fire capabilities and then financial uh, transactions as well. Um, a quick overview of technology. You know, we are uh, using uh, Web3.0 uh, we uh, use distributed ledger technology both on Hyperledger um, for um, a PHI type of information as well as public blockchain for making financial transactions. Um, and it's 100% API enabled. And as you could see, we, could, we are using FHIR and HIPAA EDI based standards. Um, a quick uh, overview of how MyEL uh, uses distributed ledger technology. Essentially, we're enabling the collaboration across different stakeholders to, you know, uh, bring, uh, en enable that trusted collaboration using the uh, inherent features of uh, the distributed ledger technology. And here is a sample of uh, use cases that we've enabled across the stakeholders that are participating, you know, anywhere from, you know, looking at uh, price uh, transparency and price and quality transparency, uh, doing uh, care coordination, exchanging electronic health records between patient um, and providers. Uh, and the one that I'm going to focus today is the claims transparency between uh, consumer provider, payer, uh, and even an employer. Okay. So our value proposition is that um, we are significantly able to optimize healthcare um, revenue cycle. Uh, today, uh, electronic, uh, the best case for an electronic transaction could be uh, 14 days uh, and manually it could take up to 30 days. And we've reduced that to real time and we could do best case scenario in seconds. We've actually uh, um, partnered with Oracle in demonstrating that for the industry and um, but we also know we try want to keep it realistic. Most payers want to do it on a daily basis or, uh, you know, they may have once a week uh, the way they want to send out the payments. All of that can be achieved. The 
uh, value that we bring in is once the payer is ready, we actually deliver those transactions and information to the providers members uh, in real time. Um, we also are able to support longitudinal health records. Um, and then finally, we have interoperability that uh, I mentioned. Here is a quick example of uh, revenue cycle optimization. Uh, here is a complex workflow that uh, today providers either send um, manual claim, uh, which uh, goes through you know, uh, mail, mail rooms and et cetera or EDI transactions. What we are able to do is support uh, claims that are sent by the providers either way. Um, and if you look at the end-to-end -end process, by the time the pay payment is made to the provider and reconciliation is done on the practice management system, it's almost like 18 or 20 steps and it takes 14 days best case for electronic and 30 to 60 days in some cases for paper claims. And, and the value that we bring in is that we cut down a lot of those steps. Um, and <clears throat> the only thing that we do not do on our platform is adjudicate a claim, but we partner with uh, organizations that can process the claims, integrate with them. And in some cases, you know, like here is an opportunity where we took with Oracle, we partnered with them and bringing real-time claim adjudication. So this entire experience from end to end becomes in a matter of seconds, okay? And <clears throat> further to that, if you look at the CAQ8 studies, for these five transactions, which are revenue cycle workflow, it takes about $6.82 today um, uh, for a single uh, you know, end to end claim workflow transaction. And in dental, it takes about $8.39. And my, with my ELT, we're able to bring it down to less than a dollar. Okay, and real quick, um, I wanted to show you, it's not all smoking mirrors. Um, we actually have, um, I believe you can see our portals. Yep. Um, and uh, here is uh, an example of the providers submitting the claims. These are five claims that were submitted at 8.48 this morning. Uh, as an example, I wanted to, you know, didn't want to take up a lot of time here, but all those claims got paid by the um, payer. And in some cases, in a couple of cases where uh, the member is in um, self-funded can be paid by the employer. So all these uh, transactions happen in real time. And here is an example of a consumer going in and making payments That's fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Hari. That's outstanding work. And again, we're excited to see just how far Hari is going to take his product over the next few months. Thank you very much. Thank you.